What's going on, Gig Nation? This is the Gig Accountant. My name is Nas, and I'm a licensed CPA in the state of New Jersey. I'm also a gig economy worker working on food delivery platforms such as Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates. Referral links are down in the description box below. I wanted to do an article review on this uh, one article regarding Grubhub and it's l losing number one spot in the U.S. online food delivery market. This article is a couple weeks old now. Uh, it was reported on June 26, 2019 on Yahoo Finance, but I wanted to do a review with you guys for it. So let's get into it. So reportedly, Grubhub, Grub, ticker symbol, has lost its top position in the U.S. online food delivery market to its nearest competitor, DoorDash, per Quartz, which cited a recent report by analytics firm Second Measure, the company's monthly sales were lower than DoorDash in May. Notably, Second Measure data doesn't include sales from Grubhub's latest acquisitions, Topingo and Level Up. Okay, so it's missing information. This is not a sure thing yet. I mean, until we see the full information, until, probably until uh, the quarterly reports for well, 2Q wouldn't even show up because it would just show uh, May, June, if April was a lot more higher. We really have to wait until 3rd Q to really see what the information is bear out. If it, and even then, it's hard to tell because DoorDash doesn't publicly disclose uh, all their financial information. So, but anyway, back to it. Moreover, per the report, DoorDash outperformed the company in terms of market share. Although Grubhub didn't comment on the latest second measure report, it is known for snubbing third-party reports citing incorrect data, which is what I was just referring to. So, never, nevertheless, the latest data do not paint a rosy picture for shares of the company, which have declined 1.2% on a year-to-date basis compared with a 5.7% growth of the industry. So, can Grubhub revive in the second half of 2019? Competition, competition in the U.S. online food del delivery market is intensifying for the company, with expanding services from the likes of DoorDash, Uber, Uber Arm, and Uber Eats, Postmates, and Waiter Holdings, WTRH, among others. However, Amazon's AMZN decision to shut down Amazon restaurants bodes well for Grubhub. Moreover, the partnership with Dunkin' Donuts Group DNK and ticker symbol is likely to boost its footprint across markets like Boston, Chicago, and Philadelphia in the coming months. And yeah, that's a good partnership that Grubhub was able to secure with Dunkin' Donuts. And I think it's going to help personally. I think it's going to help with their morning deliveries. Uh, for coffee and other like morning breakfast type items. So I think that's good for Grubhub. So let's, be let's get back into it. Additionally, partnership with Smoothie King is expected to boost Grubhub's user base. Notably, the company ended first quarter 2019 with 19.3 million active diners. Moreover, momentum is gross. Momentum in gross food sales is a key catalyst. Despite stiff competition, the company is poised on the back of efficient delivery network and a new quality focused restaurant partners that include renowned brands like Yelp, Groupon and Yum Brand. However, increasing expenses due to planned expansion into new delivery markets are likely to keep margin under pressure. Furthermore, as these markets will take some time to generate volumes, higher upfront costs will hurt profitability. Z Zach's rank. Currently, Grubhub has a Zach's rank of number three. Hold. Can you see the la la? You can see the complete list of today's Zach's number one rank strong whatever some commercial. It could be it could become the mother of all technological revolutions. What is this? I think this is just commercial stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire article. So yeah, so what do you guys think about this? My thoughts regarding this is uh DoorDash may have okay and First of all, we don't know if this information is correct. It, it, DoorDash does not publicly disclose their financial records. So we are unable to uh, compare it ourselves, compare their sales compared to Grubhub sales, which is a public company. And they do publicly disclose their financial records on a quarterly basis through 10Qs and 10K. 
So that's my first thing to say about that. We can't uh, verify that this information is actually correct. Um, number two is the question regarding uh, the sales volume and whether it has been increased profitably. So it may very well be that DoorDash has increased their sales volume to such an extent that it has surpassed Grubhub's. But the question is, is it have they profitably increase their sales volume. Right now, Grubhub is a very profitable company. Uh, they are operating at a profit there. So, uh, and they are expanding profitably. Is DoorDash executing the same strategy of uh, profitable expansion? We don't know. So there's a couple questions that we have regarding this. Uh, something that the article did mention is that Grubhub is expanding uh, into other markets and this will uh, result in additional costs uh, regarding expansion costs and expanding to markets where the uh, sales volume is still low but the cost will increase uh, commensurate with the expansion or incommensurate so it's going to take some time for the sales volume to uh, kind of tick up to uh, kind of offset the cost that has occurred. So that's something to consider uh, about Grubhub. Overall, I feel very confident about Grubhub. Um, I like that the fact that it has been expanding profitably uh, and unlike the likes of some other gig, uh, gig economy com companies such as Uber or Lyft, it is operating at a profit. Uh, so I... I've reviewed the financials of Grubhub very lightly, very, very briefly, and to me, it seems like I like what I see. I, I, I don't ha have anything against the company and how it's operating. It's to me personally, I view it as financially sound, but that's not financial advice. So, you know, do your own research regarding that. Uh, yeah, so that's all I got to say about that. Uh, I'm going to hold this uh, report with a grain of salt and also question whether or not DoorDash has been able to expand profitably. All right, so guys, so that's all I got to say about this. Uh, you guys, be safe out there. Secure that bag, make that money, happy hustling, and have a good one, guys. Peace.